Yo, what's up guys? t here with my first tutorial video. Today I'm going to explain how you can do Vosic Phase 1 so fast that you don't have to worry about any voltage readers. All around in the area you see lights that you need to pick up to charge the spinners. There are 8 in total. These 8 lights spawn different groups. If you pick up one, there spawns a new one in another location within the group. What if I told you there are only 4 locations within each group where it can spawn? Like I told you guys, there are 4 locations in each group where light can spawn. Let's give a name to each group. Group 1 is pink, group 2 is blue, group 3 is green, group 4 is red, group 5 is yellow, group 6 is orange, group 7 is purple, and group 8 is cyan. Let me give you a demonstration for each group separately. So this is how the strat works. You have one type thing running the initial to start up the boss encounter. During the time it takes of running the initial you have three hunters setting up on the pink, yellow and red group. And the two other titans that aren't running initial will be setting up to run the blue and purple group. Three hunters and two titans that will be set up and ready to start for when the initial runner is done will be starting off at a very specific moment. This moment will be directed by Fossick's spawn animation. By looking at him, you will see Fossick raising his gun. The moment he fully raises his gun, the three hunters and two titans will start up. At this point you might have noticed that the groups Green, Orange and Cyan aren't being used. These groups will be used as bones. It's simply the case with the lights of those groups. If you get near them, use them. After all this is done, the bombs should start dropping, which will be thrown by three hunters. At the same time, the three times are going to be setting up the damage faster as soon as the shield goes down. For the most efficient boss damage, I highly recommend the Galhorn Rifle one. Specifically for the Titans, a full loaded shotgun as a last resort for when you run out of pockets. I can also recommend for at least two of the Titans to run the Mountain Point melee ability under some players. Provide the team with a damage buff from 50% for 4 seconds. Preferably in the combination with the Exotic Helmet, Informatable Skull Fort, or the Exotic Gauntlets, the Pegamizers, to melee targets. Make sure to space out the moment when the melting point is being applied. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Until next time, Guardians.